So after about two weeks of painstaking efforts, we've reached the final video of this trilogy. We've done White Snake, we've done Sea Moon, and now it's time to wrap things up uh, and finish off the year with Made in Heaven. Before we dive into this hectic ass video, if you haven't already seen the previous two, I would recommend going back and watching those if you're at all interested in my personal journey that I went on along with my downward spiral. And with all that said, let's get into this shit. So like I did with Sea Moon, I'll be showing you guys how to obtain Maiden Heaven. Strap in boys, cause uh, th this is where shit hits the fan. It's all downhill from here. Starting off, you need to go talk to Poochie once again and get your quest. It's gonna be the first one of two of this quest line. And the first thing you do is obtain Dio's bone. <laughs> the only way you can get your hands on this item is by fighting Heaven Ascended Dio. And to get to him, you need to talk to the Jotaro NPC on the tallest peak and have all the corpse parts. And if you don't have all the corpse parts, well, uh, well, you're, you're shit out of luck and you have to go to SBR. Good luck uh, to all those unfortunate souls. But I'm not one of those because I have all the corpse parts. Thank you, Uzu, for all the redeemed codes for over the years. I'm still not talking about your fucking update. But let's assume that you have all the parts needed. Well, congratulations. You just got yourself a one-way ticket to absolute fucking misery. Fun fact, did you know that for whatever fucking reason, the devs decide to make the drop chance for the bone not 100%. So even if you manage to kill Dio, you're more than likely not going to get anything. So yeah, that's, uh, that, that's fun. This is the part of the video where I show all my attempts of getting the bone. So if you don't want to watch me get my cheese clapped in for a solid six minutes straight, feel free to skip ahead. But for the rest of you who like seeing my pain and suffering, uh, yeah, sit back and enjoy the shit show, I guess.
Hey, did I mention that fighting this boss is a pain in the ass? Because uh, fighting it with Seamoon is a definite pain in the ass as well. Maybe if I had used Hamon instead of maxing out my boxing health passives, things could have gone a little bit smoother. But uh, it's too late for hindsight. Now that you have your bone, go back to Poochie and he'll give you your quest to retrieve Jotaro's disc. And this is where even more shit hits the fan. Because Jotaro Part 6 is by far the hardest boss in game to beat solo. If you need to fight Jotaro, for the love of God, bring friends, bruh. I made the naive mistake of thinking, yeah, I just beat Dio, so I can easily do Jotaro solo. What could go wrong? Well, um, uh, ro roll the tape. Oh! 
ぜスタープラジオおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらやれやれだぜ。やれやれだぜスタープラッシュおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおら And I still buy, st and I still stand by those statements. Fuck these two pieces of shit. May we never meet again. But now that we have all the items we need, go back to Poochie for the final time for this quest line, and go achieve heaven. Why am I? Why do I fucking do this shit? This is such a pain in the ass to do. What's wrong with me? But、uh, I guess we've reached the proverbial end game, boys. So、uh, now that we've achieved Maiden Heaven,、uh, let's just jump right into the skill tree and move set one last time to wrap up this year. And hopefully, this will probably be the last bit of effort I have to put in. To fully max out Maiden Heaven, you will have to make the sacrifice of spending a whopping seventy, seven, seventy, seventy, seventy skill points.、Uh, easy to say. If you value your life, do not max it out. 
but and for the sake of the video I guess here is my personal build for the stand it's not the best but uh I, like I always say it's it's good enough for me if it can it can save my life uh, I guess it, it fucking works Maiden Heaven has a total of six unlockable moves and what I would consider one sub move that will or we'll get into later here we have the info for the default moves as well uh, I'd say they're very solid and while they're not the best in games uh, it does numbers given enough time uh, pretty all right Starting off with our first unlock move, we have Knife Throw. Not much for me to say here. Just like the World AU, if you have the knives fully upgraded, they barely have any cooldown and they let you throw three at a time. By itself, one knife can deal 7.5 damage, giving you an overall damage total of 22.5 if all three knives land. And while this move is spammable, keep in mind the knives are still very much blockable. So don't get too trigger happy. Next we have Speed Slice, this move deals 10 damage and applies a bleed effect to the target if hit. This move is also capable of block breaking and ragdolling your opponent, making this move one of the more flexible moves you have at your disposal, overall very useful. Heaven's Judgment, this move deals a series of hits that all deal 5.8 damage with the final one dealing a solid 10. This move is extremely powerful, with the main drawback of it being that the startup is extremely obvious and can be easily cancelled. My recommendation is to use this move when you know your opponent is out of options or is just coming out of a block break. Following this we have infinite speed. This move lets you quickly maneuver behind your opponents and hit them for a solid 25 damage. This move is great to use to catch your target by surprise, but if they are even remotely competent at the game, it's more than likely you're gonna get parried if you try to whip this thing out at the wrong time. Don't be an idiot, wait for the opening, trust me. Moving on to our first movement based move, we have Double Excel. This move allows you to overall move and dash faster than most players for about 36 seconds. Safe to say this is one of the moves that you should be having active whenever it's off cooldown. You being able to run laps around your opponents gives you one hell of an advantage against people you're fighting. You would be an idiot to not be consistently using this. And finally we have Time Acceleration. Time Acceleration allows you to speed up time in a set amount of range and trap anyone inside that range. While in Accelerate Time, your cooldowns get drastically decreased, essentially letting you toss out moves as fast as Brian from Family Guy transferring herpes. If you have Maiden Heaven fully maxed out, this move also leads into Universe Reset. Upon resetting, everyone caught inside gets transformed and given debuffs, have a limb removed, and it lasts for about 28 seconds. While this move is very flashy and I do enjoy it myself, I think it's better off you avoid getting the Universe Reset, seeing that the effects aren't really worth the extra skill points, and overall it's just mostly annoying for everyone involved because it's doesn't really it doesn't really add much I wish they had done more with it but eh, whatever flashy move is flashy do yourself a favor avoid it unless you you're me and you like seeing the cool cinematic overall when it comes to how Maiden Heaven play I would say it's pretty nice and pretty fun like always having the ability to throw out moves constantly and having people tear their hair out is hilarious to me and when you top it off with the fact that I can achieve that by literally running in circles around my opponents it's equally if not even more hilarious moving around at the speed of sound oh god i'm gonna kill myself is the best experience i could have in this game while main heaven's combat style usually gets dunked on by some of the powerhouses of this game and is constantly called lame and brain dead by other people who can't figure out counterplay i still consider main heaven pretty up there when it comes to fighting in my personal enjoyment so overall, I'll give Made in Heaven a solid 8 out of 10 on my fun scale and put a nice little bow tie on this video trilogy. My original goal was to have these videos done and out before the start of February, but uh, I, I think it's safe to say I smashed that shit with the force of a hood rat stomping out his ops. While this was fun to do, don't get me wrong, it's I'm very much burnt out from all the shit I just pulled off here. So while I still have one more video planned for the end of the year, I'm gonna have to take a short break to recuperate some brain cells. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see y'all in the new year. Uh, 
yeah, I'm probably not gonna post till fucking March again. I'm not even gonna fucking lie. <laughs>